Can everyone hear me all right? Excellent. My first fear coming here was, well, public speaking. My second was that I would be the fifth person to say the exact same words that you would have to hear. I am pleased to say that's not true, but I was concerned when the last speaker said the word blasphemy in his introduction. Because that is my piece, it is Ingersoll's lecture on blasphemy. Before I begin, though, I would like to applaud all the speakers that have come before me. It's very difficult to work up to 20 minutes, an hour's long worth of lecture, down into three to six minutes. And they've all done an amazing job. <clears throat> My name, as he said, is Kevin Slaughter. And um, when I arrived here, I had a lot of people congratulate me on my costume. And I, I plead, this is actually what came out of my closet. This hat my wife bought me when we were on a trip to New York. This tie, I got it in Pennsylvania for my wedding. And I take them off now because I don't want you to see a character up here. Even though I'm reading Ingersoll's words, I take them as my own. I'm going to try not to just honor a great order and thinker here, but I want to make things absolutely clear. I deny the Holy Spirit. This rejection of God means not just that I am a free thinker, but I am proud to stand here in our nation's capital as a free man. Judges, ladies and gentlemen, what is the origin of this crime known as blasphemy? Well, it is a belief in a God who is cruel, revengeful, quick-tempered, and capricious. A God who punishes the innocent for the guilty. A God who listens with delight to the shrieks of the tortured and gazed enraptured upon their spurting blood. You must believe this in order to believe in the doctrine of blasphemy. You see, God is a kind of a juggler. He does not wish to man, man to be impudent or curious about how he did things. He just wants you to sit in the audience and watch the tricks and ask no questions. In front of every fact, he brings down the veil of blasphemy. Now, all the reason that man has is useless. To say anything against God is blasphemy. To say anything, any question, is blasphemy. And then, finally, we all sink down to a level of fetishism, and we begin to worship inanimate objects. Well, if you read the Bible, you will learn that the Jews have a magical box. And it is a crime to touch that box. And one day, it looked like that box was about to fall, and a man reached up and grabbed it. And God killed him. Thank you. It has always been a blasphemy to say, I do not know whether God exists or not. In all Catholic countries, it is blasphemy to doubt the Bible. It is blasphemy to doubt the sacredness of the relics. And it has always been blasphemy to laugh at a priest, to ask questions, to investigate the Trinity. In a world of superstition, reason is blasphemy. In a world of ignorance, Facts are blasphemy. In a world of cruelty, sympathy is a crime. And in a world of lies, truth is blasphemy. Last night there was a fire in Philadelphia. And a man, Mr. King, he stood 50 feet above the ground amid flames and smoke. 
And he took one of his children, each one, and he gripped them to his chest and he kissed each one. And with a prayer, he dropped them down to the rescuers. Now that was a man. But this book says that God, on the last day, snatches up his children and tosses them into eternal fire. If this book be true, if this creed be true, then God is the insane keeper of a madhouse. <laughs> Blasphemy is a padlock which hypocrisy tries to put on the lips of all honest men. At one time, Christianity succeeded in silencing the infidel, and then came the Dark Ages, when all rule was ecclesiastical, when the air was filled with devils and spooks. When birth was a misfortune, life a prolonged misery of fear and torment, and death was a horrible nightmare. They crushed the infidels, Galileo, Kepler, Copernicus, wherever a ray of light shone into the ecclesiastical darkness. And I want to tell you all gathered here, that day has passed. All the churches in the United States cannot even crush me. That day has gone, never to return. If they think they can crush free thought in this country, let them come and try it. I will tell you what is blasphemy. It is blasphemy to live on the fruits of other men's labor, to prevent the growth of the human mind, to persecute for opinion's sake, to abuse your wife and children, to increase in any manner the sum of human misery. And I will tell you what is sacred. Our bodies are sacred. Our rights are sacred. Justice and liberty are sacred. And I'll tell you what is the true Bible. It is the sum of all actual knowledge of man. And every man who discovers a new fact adds a new verse to that Bible. And it is different from this other Bible because this is the culmination of everything that its readers and writers do not know. Thank you.